Hey guys, and welcome back to more Nom Nom Galaxy. In the last episode, we managed to really screw up a conveyor system, but we fixed her up, and she should be working good now. Oops. That way. So, we're gonna load up, and we can actually get. Like I said, I'm not sure how far that one other one is. But. It's quite far. But if we use a conveyor system. I think the only thing is we'll have to go up. Else we'll run out into those trees. Ah, shit. Whatever, it's not worth it. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's going to take way more time than it's worth to do that whole thing. That's a neat idea. Are red? Are we blue? Oh no, yeah, okay. I'm like, they don't have way more soup than us. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So you can just stand here and just chop them away. So now they got me quite a bit behind. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do either. Two. Now I'm a little behind on my soups. Like, how dare they interrupt my soup? Yeah, that's my bad. So they would actually be pretty easy to do that right. Like I said, you just have to do your girders, but I just think about it and I'm not sure. I don't think it's really even worth it, but because the thing is you'll have been you only have time to make to make all the soup and ship it all at the same time. So Oh it's over here, I think that all that ox food is. Pretty much have it all used up, but like I said, we don't need to be sustainable, we just need to beat our enemies real quickly, like. It would be real nice to have a robot to throw that up. But if we had a robot to throw it up, we could have a robot to carry it over to the conveyor belt and another robot over there to put it in the machine. But that's not how she works. Ah. Oh, there's that will last to give us two there. Perfect. Now, let's see, put a thing over here, then I wouldn't have to run on the conveyor. Should be real nice. And then. Let's cut this down. I should really plant another one. Oops. Cause it's not growing that fast, and I need my ingredients to grow quickly. So I'm gonna have to change what ingredients I'm using. And there's lots of grass around that. Like I said, this is kind of the coolest place to get to put grass. So those two are on its way back. This one's arrived. Perfect. So we arrived just when it was here. Now that's efficient. So. That's one thing. Sometimes you have to really work on making an efficient thing. Other times you could <laughs> totally not worry about efficiency and just start like plowing out the soup ingredients. Come on. I don't put my mouse far enough forward, that's the problem there, if you didn't, haven't catched it. That's gonna give me just two, I think, right? Yeah. That's fine, because I only needed one. We plot the original, get another soup going, there's two more soups, I can grab one of those and put it in. Man, that guy's really going, going hard now. But, now I put that 
excavator in that's really going to help my people get done quicker. Danger, Will Robertson, danger! And that's soup. Perfect. Let's get down there. Hmm. Oops. That's a kind of annoying thing. Why don't we just buy another Yamamaza? So, yeah, I don't even know what damage these guys can really do to me, to be honest. They're pretty pathetic. But anyway. Everybody should be returning, so I need to get more soup going. Just if I really need soup grades, I can go over there and grab some too. Oops. I was. <laughs> I'm not used to using one of those, so I always forget to re-equip to re -equip it. Um, I don't- I only have one soup over there right now. I'm gonna quickly go grab this one. Is it only worth two? Okay, good. Go grab a plant and head back over here. Cause I need to have more soups going, cause that's what's slowing me down. Don't have enough soups on the- on the mm, wagon. So that one. So this one. That's the case I need it. Who knows? Oh, sorry. Why don't I just cut away through here? Quickly though, I want to put up a strut so this whole thing doesn't come crashing down. Which it probably would because I don't think it's held up anywhere else. Double the plant here just because, like I said, I'm hoping to run out of the flowers. So, this one's probably back. It is. Ag. But we're over here, let's grab some of these. Perfect. Oh. I just love this escalator, it's such a great idea. Hag Gets it right to the edge. So no robots, but you can have escalators. Market domination. Yeah, whatever, that one doesn't matter. I've got lots of lots of grass here. In. Uh, yeah, we don't have any otherwise, so. Let's see if I can actually find more oxygrass. If there is, I'll make acid go down there, grab a tomato -y and combine it with that. If I can find another oxygrass somewhere. No? No, don't say any oxygrass. Nah, I'm not that worried about it either way. Oh, 
none of this stuff I'm using in SP, so there's no point even taking it. And that should be game. So I'll be at 100%. Perfect. Get style. What's well, a blade? A new household name in soup is well known throughout the galaxy. And we get Arthur. Keep the riff raff out of your base. Arthur patrols wherever he's placed and defends against all intruders. Potentially useful, but usually the guys come from the top. But I guess if I have a place where enemies are teleporting, and I could use him, but not really that worried about it. In my base, I'll probably just use the mirror. If they're in your base, you can just mirror mass of them up so easily. So, but anyway, why don't we ch check and take a look at one of the galactic challenges? Okay, so I got an elite medal, so let's do this one. Gold Rush! All enemies drop gold when killed. Come one with water, swim faster, and breathe. All forms of damage. Breathe deep and clear. Axe Breathe Turbo. Okay, so that's a five minute, so that's pretty good. Choose five more. Gold Rush Turbo. Iron Fish Turbo. The Turbo ones. Boulder Basher. Love that one. Extra. Minigum. Constant recharging health. So I'm happy with that. So what do we have here? Same challenges. Why don't we do that? Sell as much soup as you can as fast as you can. Before the timer runs out. Okay, it's one of these kind of weird factories, but whatever, we'll give it a shot. Okay, where's our... Fifteen minutes? I don't want to spend fifteen minutes doing one of these challenges. I just wanted a quick one. Like, defeat hostile creature, creatures isn't a good one. Oh, this one has teleporters. So, I need... Oh, that's pineapple, but I need to kill some of those. Do we not have gun? Do I not get a weapon or anything? There probably is a gun somewhere, but I don't see it, so we'll just bash these guys out. Hmm. Yeah, that hurt. Four more. That thing, they're pretty tough, these paired up is. I'm probably gonna die here again, actually, but... Why, can you buy, buy weapons? No, I don't think so. One more per nipple. Okay, one more. Let's just get this one. If I would've got one more and died, I would've been automatically teleported back, okay. That's one. What's that? That's a giant corn guy. I'm not that interested in that. Squid flies? I need squid flies. This is a different one than we did last time though. Squish and squid flies. You can kind of do some glitchy punches with if you rock it and then punch, but you should have to go for these squid flies here in a big pack. If you can get big packs of squid flies, you can do some pretty good scores. That's kind of what I recommend. 
Okay, so it'll hop through. Let's quickly go get a corn bug. Probably gonna die here. Actually, probably could just kill ourselves. Perfect. I don't know if you get penalties for dying. I don't think so. But the complete boast keeps going down until you complete it. So, going in and if you can juggle them, you can do a lot of damage really quickly to them. So, stack them up and knock them down. Take two more. So personally, I think the easiest thing to defeat is the squid flies and they give good money. So we're going to head back over there. Or good points rather. Because look at that stack of squid flies there. More points than the coin bugs. And actually probably just as easy to kill if not easier. There you go. Look at that. Kill me big packs. Then you can get big combos. Got that from my three time multiplier I did. Eight times. Ah. Oh, so I would have got that one in time. I would have got my probably nine times multiplier. You can get big multipliers and get big groups of them. Just fly through too and just punch them. If you get damage one too, you can use them to just keep your multiplier going. But once the eight, it ends pretty fast sometimes. So, so definitely go for the squid flies. And if you can't get your obviously get your score multiplier or your completion bonus right away, because that's a big component of your score. There's a big pack up here now. So if you can get them, that's good. Good coin. Oh, I was going for that big pack. Well, I still had eight times, but didn't quite get third time. But look at all this nice suit material that's going to waste, though. But I don't think they're not too, too worried about that. So yeah, they keep spawning, too. And you can just keep plowing them down. Look at like look at that. Not a big group over here. Where you can get wherever you can get them in a big group is optimum. Like big group here. Sometimes it can be hard to fly into, but do your best and just pick them all off. You can't go ever over it eight times, but. There's a good pack there. And that's why I recommend the flies. You just rip through them. Oh, okay, didn't get any more there, but <laughs> I got a lot of them. So. Not, still not the highest, but that's I think that's a good score. But also <laughs> not the best. But I don't claim to be the best, I just do it for the fun of it. So, anyway guys, thanks for coming out for more Nom Nom Galaxy, and we're back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys, later.